your barbell bench press. Okay, now a couple of things to kind of observe with this one is make sure that the JPEG which you're working at isn't too high, so you're kind of like resting to kind of get it off first and foremost because that's where a lot of people get shoulder injuries, and once you get an injury, it's going to completely inhibit your, your, your progress. Okay, again, with grip, I always use the groove, so short apart from the end groove, and then that's like four inches on either side of my shoulders. But again, it's up to you if you want to go a little bit close together, probably focus a bit more on the triceps, a little bit further apart, a little bit more in the pet. Okay? Feet should always be pushing to the ground because especially when you get heavier or towards like the end of your reps, if you're on an AMRAP in particular, driving through your feet is super important and you're going to get so much more efficiency in terms of lifting that weight up into the air. So from there, set up, taking it out so it's over your chest, your arms are fully vertical and locked out. Create a high arch in your back. So imagine... You're trying to put your shoulder blades into your back pocket. From here, you're going to control down. Again, taking those arms so they're always vertical. In line with the sternum, so bottom of the sternum. You're going to touch it. You're going to kiss the chest, punch, pop, and lock out. So you might see my body jolt up. That's because I'm driving through my legs when I press up into the air again. Control down. Light kissing chest. Jolt up. Press and lock out. Breathing in. Control down. Light kissing chest. Jolt up. Press, pop, and lock out with that one. And that is your barbell bench press.